Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a hand aid use on guys and it could be multiple engines or generation hand aid use on. If you have check engine light on and any of the following codes such as code P0, 105, 106, 107, 108 or 109 stay with us. We will explain what most likely causes that and how to fix it. It could be uh, up to two, three different things that can cause that code. Now, uh, that should work on multiple hand aid use on guys. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us, guys. Every single car we get at the garage, we try to take them completely apart and make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need, guys, in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way, we can keep providing this free information to you. Now, uh, if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for a really good price and quick shipping as well, check out the link in the description of the video below, and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from. So specifically we'll be uh, talking uh, and demonstrating about a 2.4 GDI engine guys but before we start let's explain many of you have been asking us about uh, what computer diagnostics we recommend to use for codes and uh, many of you asked me in the comment section below so we decided to share that information that's a computer it works on almost any car you can think of uh, you can see Hyundai is right here I'll put the link in the description of the video below if you want to check it out check the current price and features as well but that's our favorite computer guys that can pay itself off in one time use so looking at the engine now okay you need to locate where your intake manifold is located that's your intake manifold that's where the car it gets its air and fuel from so uh, looking at it now okay that's your throttle body you can see so right after the throttle body on the intake manifold you you will have one sensor this sensor right here this sensor is known as a map sensor guys okay you can see it okay over there map sensor or manifold absolute pressure sensor that sensor detects how much air the engine is practically getting it uses the pressure okay in the intake manifold plus okay the, uh, uh, the temperature ambient temperature sensor to detect the amount of air because cold and hot air have different okay density now you will be working really close to the radiator fan so we recommend to disconnect the car battery or you, if that fan turns on it can cut your hands off on these modern cars it really matters which battery terminal you disconnect and reconnect first if you do it the wrong way you can cause damage to the engine computer and if you don't know about that information we have a special video that explains all that i'll put the link in the description of the video below with that being said guys what can cause easily these codes one thing inspect the wiring harness that it's plugged in another thing make sure that the wiring harness is not broken cut okay because it's really close to the radiator fan and that can affect it another thing very likely guys okay you may actually have a bad map sensor yes they do go bad on higher mileage vehicles why <laughs> nobody knows it's electronic so eventually it can fail you can see it just a device that calculates okay the amount of pressure okay in that uh, intake manifold so it can calculate how much fuel uh, how much fuel the car needs by calculating how much air it's getting so number one check if it's plugged in number two inspect the wires number three most likely bad sensor hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time